Hello everyone, this is Tommy Stevens with K2 Enterprises, dropping in with another in a series of technology-focused tips. Today's tip is going to focus on how you can quickly and easily add your signature to a Word document using a little-known feature of Word known as building blocks. Building blocks and quick parts are fantastic tools inside Microsoft Office Word that really don't get the airplay that they deserve. They effectively give us just very simple, easy-to-implement shortcuts to insert all types of content into a Word document up to and including even a scanned image of our signature. So let's jump into Word now and see how we can take advantage of this feature. Now, as you can see, I've got a sample Word document on the screen. Perhaps it's a letter that I've written to someone, and I want to attach an image of my handwritten signature to this document. I don't want to print and then sign the document and then turn around and email it or anything of that nature. Rather, I want to take an image of my signature and attach it to this document. Let's be clear, we're not talking about digital signatures here. We're not talking about electronic signatures. We're just talking about facsimiles of of your signature. First, to make this happen, we're obviously going to need to write our signature, perhaps on a sheet of paper, and then scan that sheet of paper. Or perhaps if we have a touch-enabled device, uh, maybe in some cases you could take a digital pen and write your signature and capture it on the touch-enabled device. In my case, I've actually gone ahead and scanned a copy of my handwritten signature. Now, what I want to do is set Word up so that I can very quickly and easily, not just for this letter, but perhaps for all other communications where I need to attach that signature, I want to set Word up so that it can do this with essentially just about one or two clicks of the mouse. The way we will make that happen is by taking advantage of Word's building blocks and quick parts features. Building blocks are simply collections of predefined text and images that you store inside Word in various categories, as you'll see momentarily. And these building blocks, you can then very quickly recall and insert them into your document. These could be long paragraphs of text. These could be perhaps multiple pages of text. And in our case today, they could also be our signatures. So that's what a building block is. It's just a collection of predefined information that you can insert into a Word document. A quick part is a subset of building blocks. When we start to save all of our building blocks, we can begin to divide them into different categories to make them a little bit easier to find. And as you can see on the Insert tab of the ribbon, quick parts are available. We can simply click and choose whatever quick part we want or need to without having to get into the entire library of all of the building blocks that we might have saved. So essentially, a quick part is just a shortcut to a building block that you expect that you might use with some degree of frequency. Now, to begin the process of setting Word up so that it can uh, save and recall my digital, I'm sorry, my uh, scan signature, I was about to mess up and call it a digital signature, to begin to do this so that I can recall it as a quick part, probably the best way of approaching this is to go out and go ahead and insert a copy of your signature into the document manually. So in my case, I'm going to say that I want to go and grab this signature and I will browse to where I have it located. And then once I browse to where I have it located, I've got a lot of images on my computer, as you can tell. I'll scroll down just a little bit further until I get to that signature. It's down toward the bottom, as I recall, in this listing. There it is. So I will click and go ahead and insert that into this document in kind of a manual fashion. And I'll go ahead and resize it, kind of clean things up just a little bit uh, as uh, if I were actually going to use this. So we've got the signature in the document the old-fashioned way. Now what we need to do is save it so that we can bring it back in as a quick part moving forward. To make that happen, make sure that the signature image is active. Make sure that it's the selected object on the screen. And then go to the Insert tab of the ribbon and click underneath Quick Parts and say that we want to save the current selection to the Quick Part Gallery. Now, when I click and say that I want to save this to the Quick Part Gallery, I'll give it a name. I'll call it, for example, My Signature. 
I want to keep it in the quick part gallery so that it's accessible directly off the ribbon. I could change that to other galleries if it were necessary, but quick parts in this case is probably the right choice. I could further add a category to it, uh, add a description if necessary. I won't take your time to do that. It's pretty obvious that when we say my signature that that's what we're talking about. Finally, I will click OK to complete the process. Now at this point, that signature has now been saved as a quick part. In fact, you see that I have deleted the original signature that was already there. Let's suppose I'm in another document now and I'm ready to sign that other document. All I have to do is go to Quick Parts and there is my signature. I click on it and bingo, it's in the document. This is a real simple, real effective way not only to insert your signatures into documents, but frankly, any other text that you might have. Long disclaimer messages or standard paragraphs and contracts, any and all of that can be saved as a building block, labeled as a quick part, and then easily recalled upon demand. So, as you think about how you work inside Microsoft Office Word, and you think about all of the repetitive passages of text and paragraphs and sentence and even signatures that you find yourself inserting into Word documents over and over and over again, take just a moment and save each of those as quick parts so that you can streamline and economize on the amount of time you spend creating routine text inside your documents. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thank you for stopping by. We hope that you found this tip to be useful, and we look forward to the opportunity of sharing additional information with you in the future. Stop by often. We refresh the uh, videos on our channel periodically, and again, hope that you'll find the content to be useful.